Recently, Acara released an update to their FP2 presence sensor that enables sleep monitoring, which is pretty intriguing. So today I'm gonna to set it up and see how it works and if it's something that you should consider doing. For the record, I own four FP2 presence sensors and Acara did not send me any of them to review. I just really enjoy them, nor have they sponsored this video, so you can expect true honest feedback as always. So let's dive into the app and see how we can do this. So we're gonna find my bedroom presence sensor. We're gonna go into device settings and looks like they've actually enabled some other features, but we'll dive into that later. Zone detection. All right, we're gonna, this is where we're gonna find sleep monitoring. Now it says limited free. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe they're gonna charge for some kind of tracking or, or something, but let's find out. Install now. Oh, that's a good point. So make sure I have this saved as a template. All right, install now. And let's hit switch. Limited free trial. So try for free sleep monitoring in a limited time. That's interesting. They're gonna, it looks like they're gonna put this behind a paywall. Um, let's go ahead and give it a shot though. Near the head of the bed. Oh, so it, huh. Looks like I have to install this at the head of my bed. I don't know if my wife's gonna like that too much. Hmm. All right, now let's head up to my bedroom and get this thing moved over to the right wall. So something that I think is worth noting is that I haven't seen incredible success with this device in my bedroom. It works everywhere else. It does a lot of really cool functions everywhere else I set it up. For some reason, where I have it in my bedroom doesn't seem to work that well. So it'll be interesting to see if moving it to the head of the wall works or not. All right, let's go. All right, so that's where I have it set up above the TV and that's where I need to move it above my bed. So basically it says to mount it over the side of the bed of who's going to be monitoring. So I'm thinking right here. But I don't know if that's going to work. Let's find out. Also quick pro tip, don't stick things straight to your wall. Use a command strip. It's gonna save you a lot of trouble in the future. All right, got it plugged in. And we'll see if my wife loves this or hates this. Uh, spoiler alert, she's probably gonna hate it. So it says, place it near the user regular sleeping area. So that's gonna be me and tilt it downward to aim it at the chest area. Oh, this is wild. So this is going to literally monitor your breathing. Don't fall. All right, complete installation. Sleeping zone has been drawn based on your installation. Sleeping in this zone will automatically trigger sleep monitoring slide grid to adjust sleeping zone. All right, let's see first. <laughs> We're testing. Seems pretty accurate. Let's just add a little more room for it to start now. All right, so I got my free trial. All right. All right, so we got it set up right there. And it's gonna watch me sleep right there. All right, so I'll check back in tomorrow after I test it. All right, it has been five days since I installed the sleep monitoring on my Acara FP2 in my bedroom. And I just cannot get it to show any sleep data. I've tried everything from changing the power brick to plug it into a different outlet. As you can see through these screenshots, I have literally seen zero hours, zero minute sleep duration 
every day for the past five days. But what's weird is it will literally show that I'm in the bed. So I don't know why it's not tracking. I don't know if it loses track during the night. What's crazy is if I go to my home assistant instance, it'll show bedroom presence and it's all accurate. It's all tracking. I've been in and out checking it. The bed sensor is, is accurate. Everything's accurate. I don't know what I'm doing wrong um, or if I just set it up wrong, but I am going to keep tweaking it and uh, see if I can get it to work. I'm going to leave it on that present state because I can still use it to automate uh, bedroom presence and as, as a sensor for the room. So I'm going to leave it there um, and keep trying. Uh, but for now, I'm just, I have no choice. I, I don't know what else to say. This has been an epic fail for me. But what about you? Have you been able to get this to work? And are you even interested in this feature? I mean, for me, I use my Apple Watch to track my sleep anyway, so that does enough. I was just curious more than anything. Um, but I don't know, let me know down in the comments. Is this even something that you're interested in getting to work? As I said in my last video, if you didn't catch that one, I am gonna start doing weekly videos. I kind of have already started, but throughout 2024, you can expect weekly videos from this channel. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that bell button if you wanna get notifications. And uh, before you go, here's a couple videos of projects that were successful and that I really enjoy and I think you'll enjoy as well.